The day punctuation came to town. A new family moved to Alphabet City. The punctuations. Exclamation point led the way to their first day at a new school. Let's hurry! <laughs> he exclaimed, I can't wait to get there. We are going to have so much fun. Exclamation point was always excited about something. Question mark wondered what it would be like. Do you think everyone will be nice? Are we going the right way? Should we ask for directions? Period followed, bringing the line to a close. Let's go. I'll tell you when to stop. Kama kept pausing. Wait for me, please. When they walked into school, exclamation point first forward. Hi, everyone! <laughs> the little letter stared. Who are you? They asked. You don't look like letters. <laughs> We're not letters! Exclamation point explained. We're the punctuation family! The punctuation who? The letters were confused. I'm exclamation point! And this is question mark, comma, and period. We're different from letters, but we love being around words. The punctuations join the class. The letters worked to make words. Exclamation point, question mark, and period joined in the fun. Exclamation point added excitement to words. Wow! wow. Question mark asked a lot of questions. Ooh. Period brought each sentence to a tidy end. Stop! Stop. Kama tried not to get stepped on and fit in wherever he could. Uh, oh. <laughs> no. no. Why? Why? Go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> As the day wore on, Kama began to feel smaller and smaller. The letters love making words, but I just get in the way and keep them apart. He whispered to himself. <sighs> no one wants me here. When no one was looking, Kama snuck out the door. Yay. Inside the classroom, exclamation point was creating a great deal of excitement. <laughs> Letters were cheering and hurrying to make words. Shouldn't we quiet down? Question mark asked. <laughs> but no one heard her over the noise. The letters kept making words faster and faster and faster. Soon words were everywhere. There were so many words, they all became jumbled. Period hurried to stop them, but the letters tripped over her and collided. With a thundering crash, the letters fell one after another until they all tumbled through the door, spilling into the hall. Kama stared in shock. The letters were piled, the words all tangled. Exclamation point, question mark, and period ran into the hallway. They saw the heap of letters, and then they saw Kama. What are you doing out here? Question mark asked. I didn't think anyone wanted me around. Kama sighed. I just slow everything down. Kama, without you, things become a disaster! Exclamation point said, pointing to the pile of letters and words. Period nodded. Slowing things down is your job, and words need you. Didn't you know? When we're with words, we all have a job to do, question mark asked. 
Hi, at excitement! <laughs> Exclamation point burst out. Have a question? Question mark asked. That's what I'm here for. And I put a stop to things. Period said. We're the punctuation family, and we all work together to help letters and the words they make. The punctuations help the letters back into the classroom. When the letters began making words again... Yes, yes please. please! Comma stood right in the middle. The letters looked confused. What are you doing? It's my job, Kama said. From now on, I'll help keep things in order. How? The letters asked. It was Kama's turn to explain. We all work together. Words need punctuation. And punctuation needs words. Yeah. Dot. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The alarm clock rang to the alphabet song. Little Eye sat up, stretched, and rubbed his eyes. Last day of alphabet school! He saw his letter friends on the playground and hurried to join them. Whee! Little G gasped. <gasps> little P pointed. Huh? And little S stared. Little I, they said. Where is your dot? Little I looked up. He looked to the left. Huh? He looked to the right. Huh? But his dot was gone. Uh. What will you do without your dot? Little A asked. Little W whimpered. <laughs> Little H handed her a hanky. All of the letters crowded around Little I. Don't worry, they said. We'll help you find a new dot. Yep. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. The school bell rang. It was time to make words. All the little letters scrambled into school. But Little Eye's friends didn't forget their plan. When they got to the classroom, the letters looked around. Ooh. Little A asked, How about this acorn? <laughs> Little B burst forward with a balloon. <gasps> oh. Little C cried, Try on this clock! <laughs> Little D dashed over with a donut. <laughs> Little E exclaimed, An egg is exactly what you need. <laughs> Little F followed with a flower. <laughs> Little G giggled when he found a gumball. <laughs> Little H handed over a hula hoop. Hmm. Little J joked, <laughs> How about a jumping bean? <laughs> Little 
little K knew the answer. A kiwi. Little L lit the line with a light bulb. Oh. Mm. Little M made her way over with a marble. Oh. Little N nodded to a music note. <laughs> Little O opted for an oyster shell. <sighs> Little P presented a pretzel. <laughs> Little Q questioned, How about this quarter? Ooh. Little R raced over with a ring. Little S scared him with a spider. <laughs> Little T thought a thumbtack would do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Little U urged him to carry an umbrella. Little V ventured forward with a valentine. Aww. W walked over with a wheel. <laughs> Little X's extra special idea was a xylophone mallet. Little Y yelled, Wear this yo yo! Little Z, always last, zoomed over with a zero. <laughs> I tried them all on, but nothing felt right. <laughs> when school ended, all the little letters went out to where their parents were gathered. Mom! Little I saw his father. <laughs> hey, hey, Dad! And sniffed back tears. <laughs> I lost my dot. Oh. <laughs> Capital I smiled. No, little I, you didn't lose your dot. You left it on your pillow this morning. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> I brought it along, but since today is the last day of school and you've grown up, I'm not sure you need it anymore. What do you think? really think I'm ready to be a big eye? Capital I nodded. Stretch out your arms and point out your feet. Little I did. And when he saw his shadow on the ground, he smiled. Dad, I look just like you. I can start a sentence now. The Mighty Silent E by Kimberly Gard. Illustrations by Sandy Sonke. Yeah! Little E knew he was important. Hmm. After all, he came from a long line of E's. <laughs> At home, he loved to wear his blue cape and dream of the day he would come to the rescue. <sighs> he knew he had the power to be a hero. He just needed a chance to prove it. At school, little E's belief in himself didn't count for much. The other little letters rarely paid him any attention, probably because he didn't have much to say. But little E liked being quiet. He 
worked hard, quietly studying words and sounds. Until one day, little E didn't show up to class. The little letters didn't even notice little E was gone. After all, little E was so quiet, he was easy to overlook. But when Miss Capital T had the little letters join into groups and make words, Things didn't go so well. Little C, little A, and little K joined together to make a word for a type of dessert. But no matter how they arranged themselves, they couldn't make the word work. Little R, little O, and little S were having the same problem. We need to make the word for a type of flower, they said. But no matter how hard we try, it just doesn't sound right. Tell me about it, said little K, little I, and little T who were trying to become a word that could fly. Little G, little A, and little M all started to cry. <laughs> no one will ever play with this word! <laughs> little T, little A, little B, and little L scrambled around and around until they gave up. Little S, little K, little A, and little T cried out. It's just not working! <laughs> little Z, little O, and little N all looked confused too. What is going on? Why can't we make the right words today? Miss Capital T joined the little letters. Oh, we are missing someone important. The little letters all looked around. Suddenly, they noticed their friend, little E, was gone. Oh, what will we do? The little letters asked. We can't make these words without him. <laughs> then little E walked into the classroom. Sorry I'm late, he whispered. I had a sore throat, so my mom took me to see the throat doctor. <laughs> the little letters cheered. Little E, you're here at last. We've tried. But we can't make these words without you! <laughs> Little E smiled. He dreamed about this moment, and he knew what to do. This was a job for the mighty silent E! <laughs> he ran to the end of each row of letters. Suddenly, k a k became cake. R-A-S became rose. K-I-T became kite. g a m became game. Became table. Wow. -at became skate. Yeah. Z -a -n became zone. Yeah. Little E worked hard until each word was complete. <laughs> ha! 
How did you do that? All the little letters asked. Little E, you make no sound, but you change sounds around. But as usual, little E was silent. <laughs> he just smiled. <laughs> With his friends all around him, little E felt happier than he ever had. Little E's dreams had come true. He had saved the day. And he hadn't even needed his cape. Save the day? <laughs> the letter A sat by a frog and chatted with a duck and dog. <laughs> Until the letter B swept by, a wicked twinkle in his eye. There are five vowels in your group, but 21 in our grand troop. I'm a more important letter. Consonants are so much better. <laughs> A knew it only took one hand to count the members in her band. Consonants need all the toes and all the fingers plus a nose. The letter B stuck out his tongue and bragged, Our group is number one! <gasps> Ooh. Offended, A said, You'll regret when all the vowels are gone, I bet. Then poof, like that, A disappeared. That's when things got a little weird. Instead of bark, the dog said, Burk, 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 burk. And the duck couldn't quack. She could only cook, cook, cook. And the frog, poor thing, he couldn't croak. He could only crock, that woeful bloke. Crock, 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 crock. The horse laughed. Nay, who needs the A? And turned his back to eat some hay. But then E said, I'm going too. You're being rude. I don't like you. So E took off. Things went awry, and all the horse could say was, Nye! 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 Twit! 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 The birds sang twit instead of tweet. And the sheep just bleat instead of bleat. But, but, but. <laughs> now mean old B just whooped and roared as C through Z laughed in accord. 
Insulted, young I spun her dot and soared off like an astronaut. Turning back, she waved goodbye and the horse just hung his head to cry. Was all that he could utter. Onk. Was all the pig could mutter. Onk. 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 <laughs> The cow cracked up beside the bunny. They thought it was all too funny. So they sat and watched the fun. As A, E, I left one by one. But wouldn't you know the next to go? would be the cow's lone vowel. Oh! Mmm! Was all that she could say when O decided not to stay. The pigeons, too, they couldn't coo. K was all that they could do. And rooster, I bet you can guess. K doodle, duh, he said, distressed. K doodle, duh. K doodle, <laughs> the consonants were so absorbed in laughing that they all ignored. A tractor speeding toward their crowd. Fast asleep ahead it plowed. Only you and B observed the tractor as it swung and swerved. Zzz, it snoozed and snored away, gaining speed to B's dismay. Stop! B tried to shout in fear, but stoop was all the world could hear. Stoop! Stoop! And when he tried to scream, watch out! Which oot was all that he could spout. Which oot! Which oot! Determined, B jumped to his feet and vaulted to the tractor's seat. This was a test B couldn't flunk. B pushed the horn. The horn went hunk. <gasps> so no one heard. No one cared. B turned to you, a plea prepared. But vowelless words wouldn't flow. So B's unease began to grow. Calmly, you held up her hand. She could make B understand <clears throat> that yes, indeed, their group was small. But with no vowels, words will stall. So up that you jumped strong and high, reaching straight up toward the sky. She bent her arms above her head and turned into an O instead. When she did, that horn could sound. Honk! The warning shook the ground. Honk! The tractor woke with the alert and stopped in time. No one was hurt. You turned toward the consonants, nodded with some confidence. 
and off she marched to make things right and help the letters reunite. Once A E I O U came back, the dog could bark, the duck could quack, the frog could croak, the birds could tweet, the horse could neigh, the sheep could bleat, the pig could oink, the cow could moo, the tractor honk, the pigeons coo. And what about the rooster? Yeah, he too could cock-a-doodle-doodle-doo. Sheepishly, the letters shrugged, the consonants and vowels hugged. B said, sorry, now we see the alphabet's a family. Then a steady voice said, Wait! I have one thing that I must state. <clears throat> At times, I feel left out, said Y. But you need me to say goodbye. If you don't have books, then what are you waiting for? Books is kids safe, it has storybooks that are brought to life, and third, it's fun. I like to read books about fantasy and love. I tell other kids to get books because it's full of stories and laughter. I'll read it on the go, in a car, in a plane, even in a train. I've never been on a train. Don't wait around. Ask your grown up to download books now. You'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching. For more stories, try the Vox app for free today.